Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Z. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to edit and rate us and also color grade a indoor portrait. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the picture I'm gonna work uh, with today. Uh, it's a very beautiful picture. Uh, let's zoom in and see. Uh, I think this can looks very fine. Uh, if you want, you can retouch. You can use any method, frequency separation or any other method. I think this can looks fine. So I don't need uh, to uh, use so much time to retouch or anything. Uh, I will use just a action, and you will get this action totally free. Totally free. Link is on the description. Okay, just click and play. And here, let's see, let's bring it there. Oops. Okay, I think now it's fine. And here I want to decrease it. Okay, let's let's start with 0 0.1 pixels and gradually increase it. I think, I think, 8, I think it's, I think it looks good. Uh, I think yeah 8 9 I think I should keep 9 I think this is fine so I'm using 9 pixels as radius here now press ok and do the same start with 0 0.1 pixels and gradually increase it okay let's see with 4 I think yeah, it's too much let's use 5 I think 5 looks more realistic. Let's zoom out a little and see. Okay, let's use 5.2 or 5.5. I think, yeah, it looks good. I think this is fine. This is fine. Okay, now press OK. And now just paint with the white foreground color with soft brush. Okay flow 100% that's fine and now just paint on the skin it's it's a very uh, easy way to read us I think this is the easiest way to create a, a smooth skin I think it's very very useful okay that's fine it will make your skin smooth and the transition between the shadows and highlights they fix it okay i think yeah it's done let's see the before and after look at this look at this this is the before let's zoom in and see closely this is before and this is after look at this look at this transition between the highlights and shadows they blended very good look at this area on this area look at this this was the before look at the transitions between the highlights and shadows these are very harsh look at this look at this and now look at this after the shadows are very well blended with the highlights so it's beautiful it's quick and effective and I love these actions and you will get this totally free let's see the before and after look at this this is the before and this is after you can always decrease the opacity a little bit okay, let's say it uh, let's use 80% that's fine this was the before and this is after okay that's fine and now i want to use another action the dolls and burn action to apply uh, to create some highlights on this area uh this area okay let's use okay this is a pretty simple actions let's see uh these curves is for the burn effect uh, this is just a curves with a negative mask and this curves is for the dose effect okay now I want to create some highlights so select the uh, dose curves select the mask here and opacity I think 
let's use two percent always uh, use one to two percent and now paint with the white soft brush take your time okay let's use one percent take your time and paint very carefully Okay, let's zoom out and see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after look at the highlighted area it's beautiful okay that's fine Look at this before and after. Okay, let's hide the black and white layer and see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. Look at the highlights. Okay, I think it's too much. Let's decrease the opacity a little bit. I think around 65%. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. It's fine. It's really good. Okay, that's good. I have to brighten up the eyes a little bit let's use this time to flow three percent and paint on this side too that's fine that's good look at this before and after look at this this was the before and this is after i think it looks great so the retouching and doors and burn is done and now i have to do color grade and for color grading i have to use the camera raw so for this i want a new layer right now so press shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e to merge all the layers into a single layers and then convert it to smart object and now open it on camera or filter so now come to the basics option and now i have to increase the temperature look at this i think yeah 10 or 11 looks fine and i have to decrease the tint just minus 10 for tint that's perfect and now i want to decrease the highlights not too much just a little because the picture is very good okay now i want to increase the shadows just a little plus five yeah it's good and increase the white just a little four for white and okay okay look at this okay not too much uh maybe 10 i think yeah plus 10 for blacks it's fine and i want to increase the texture plus five for texture that's perfect and i want to decrease the vibrance minus six for five friends it's fine so the basic color grading so the basic settings yeah it's good it's done now coming to the curves option and here uh, i want to apply just a little matte effect so click on this area and drag it to the up i think this is fine and now create another point i think little bit dark i think yeah it's fine and now make it a little bit bright okay that's fine now another point here i think yeah it looks fine okay and bring this point a little bit down 
I think yeah this is fine so make a curves like this let's see the before and after look at this before and after it's good okay now come into the detail option and I want to add some sharpness so here I'm giving around 90 yeah that's fine and for radius I'm giving two that's good and for detail I'm giving 62 and now coming to the noise reduction okay for color noise reduction I want to give around okay let's give 60 that's fine look at this it's good that's fine now coming to the color mixer option and this is the main part this is the fun part okay uh, for red we wa wa what do we want uh, the pink version or the yellow version for this time I am going with the yellow so I am giving 23 and for orange now I will make up so I am giving here uh, minus 22 yeah now it looks balanced uh, and for yellow I am giving minus 46 and for green I am giving plus 100 and then for aquas I am giving around 65 and blues look at this area I am giving minus 60 I think 60 looks fine look at this color look at this teal color I love this so this is teal and this is orange the basic color theory right it's very very fun to color the red now come to the purple option and I think yeah let's get it to minus 100 and minus 100 for magenta also and I'm coming to the uh, saturation option and here I want to increase the red look at the skin tone I'm giving plus 53 and I want to decrease the orange little bit so I'm giving minus 12 for orange and then minus 78 for yellow and minus 100 for green then one for aquas and and to increase the blues just here uh, so I'm giving around 45 that's fine now coming to the luminance option and here increase the rates look at the leaves around 40 plus 40 for reds and then 48 for orange and then around 65 for yellow that's fine and now coming to the aquas option I have to decrease it minus 15 for aquas and then minus 26 for blues yeah it looks fine okay and now coming to the brand new color grading option and I have made a full tutorial of this brand new color grading option if you want you can check the tutorial the link is also on the description or maybe you will find it here or here okay uh, if you want you can check the video there is I discuss all the basics things and these three circles so you can understand very very deeply okay now come back to this one okay now come into the shadows option here and for the shadows I want to use okay blue color I think yeah it looks good so I'm giving for hue 221 a bluish color and for saturation I think I am using 11 for saturation and blending 100 and balance I think yeah around 20% looks fine to me now coming to the highlights option and in the highlights I want to use yeah you were right a little bit yellowish orange color that's good okay so I am using here 62 for hue and then 30 for saturation and blending 100 and balance 19 yeah now look at the colors look at the color grading it's great 
Okay, the last one come into the calibration option and I want to just decrease the hue in blue primary. Just a little, I think, minus 14, yeah? It looks fine, it looks great. So the color grading is done. Press Q to see the before and after. Look at this before and look at this after. It looks great. Look at the skins. Look at the wall. I think it's more attractive. It's more eye can see right now. Okay. So when you are done, press OK. Let's zoom in and see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. It's fine. Okay. Now I want to increase the sharpness of the eyes just a little to uh, draw the attraction of the viewers, right? So for this, create a new layer and pick your sharpen tool. It's really easy. Make sure you have checked the sample all layers and zoom in and just paint on the eyes. Paint on the area you want to apply some sharpness. To draw the attention of the viewers it's maybe on this area a little on this area I think yeah it looks good see the before and after so now let's see the before and after overall this was the before and this is after it looks great so this is all about today I hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe